Hi Libra, this is a general love reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs and it is general so might not resonate for all of you but you can check out one of your other signs if that's the case um, or you can get a personal reading if you want more specific details or you can check out one of your person's other signs and also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed so let's see what is going on with Libra in March 2021. All right, we have Awakening and we have Observer. Somebody's awakening here. Could be you, it could be your person. Um, I feel like somebody is watching the other person, maybe from afar, or trying to figure out the other person, or just really trying to understand what it is that is going on, possibly dealing with this awakening. Um, yeah, we'll see. Let's get into it. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first half of March Also, that's awakening here because with the page of just the way this is coming through to me with the page of cups I feel like there is like this um, expression of emotion that is coming up it could even be that you might have been expressing some of your feelings um, to a person that you are connected with here but I feel like that has proven to be a challenge in some way. There's something that's feeling pretty challenging and pretty difficult for you. Almost like there has been a long path behind you that you have um, endured. And it's like now you're getting to this point where it feels challenging still, but I feel like you're managing it and you're coming to this place of feeling very, very deep emotions like really just coming in touch getting in touch with your emotions oh let me we'll see more when we clarify let's see for your person here we have the magician we have the five of cups and we have the king of swords hmm. so your your person that you're dealing with here unless the roles are reversed there's something that they're trying to manifest, but I feel like there's some something that they're holding on to from the past, possibly, that is causing them to feel either some guilt or just feeling very um, low vibrational or just feeling low about their own self, which might be um, inhibiting them in a way. But there's definitely a lot of sadness here, all right, with the Five of Cups being in the middle. I feel like for the both of you, there has been something challenging um, this connection but it's at the moment it feels like it's affecting you both in different ways for them it's like they're trying to manifest they are trying to do something here all right especially also with the king of swords let's see what, what the potential future has for you here we have the ace of pentacles the devil and the high priestess all right, Libra. It almost feels like there's... Whatever it is that has been challenging the both of you and whatever it is that this person is feeling a lot of grief for or sadness or guilt, it's something that I feel isn't even really valid, if that makes sense. It's like something that is uh, possibly toxic, something that is bringing toxicity into, into the situation. There's definitely a potential here for things to work out and for there to be some kind of 
like a new beginning in a way where things are just going to be different and things to be set like in a more stable way and in a more practical way and I feel like in order for that to happen intuition is going to need to be involved like you're both going to have to kind of like almost like I'm getting like trust trust the process mm, let's see Let me clarify the Page of Cups. All right, we have the Hermit. Okay, that's interesting. And the Tower. All right, so yeah, I feel like you're discovering, this could be part of your awakening. Um, I feel like you're discovering a lot about your feelings, like feeling your feelings in a way where you just didn't feel them before or maybe you were um, suppressing them or just denying some of them or just really not understanding them, thinking they were something else than what they are. I feel like you're discovering some feelings, possibly about this person, that to you is almost um, shocking surprising or it's just kind of shaking you up like maybe you for this is just an example for some of you okay maybe you felt like you like this was somebody that you had gotten over just to have these feelings resurface and that kind of shakes you up a bit um or just this something along those lines all right or maybe you thought you were heading in a different direction i don't know or maybe it's a different type of love that you're feeling than what you had initially thought. Whatever it is, I feel like it's causing you to really um, awaken um, when it comes to your how you feel and how you feel about this connection. Let me see the Nine of Wands. That could be what's making it difficult for you, currently at least. Okay, we have cards going all over the place. Look at that judgment. Yeah, see, so that's definitely an awakening here. Through this challenging time, we have the Empress, and we also have the Ten of Wands. Through this challenging time, through this challenging journey, whatever, whatever it is that you have been enduring, and I feel like you've been enduring it for a while, um, it's something that I feel is... I feel like it's it's the end, not the end of the connection necessarily, but it's like approaching the ending of you carrying that burden, all right? Because you're standing strong here as this as this empress, okay? Even if the roles are reversed, it doesn't matter, masculine, feminine energy, it, do, it doesn't matter, all right? Whoever this is that I'm talking about up here, they're in that energy of really taking care of their own self and really just standing in their power when it comes to having these revelations, having an awakening, and again, I feel like it's the end of a very long journey and it's time for that burden to just really, really be released here. And so because you're undergoing that, like that's why it's feeling um, challenging, but at the same time, very emotional. Let me see the King of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles again, and then we also have the Knight of Swords. So there's a lot of emotions coming up, and I feel like that gradually you're finding the emotional stability. Um, because like I said, I feel like your emotions have like shooken you up. But now I feel like they're beginning to stabilize, all right? That's the direction that you're moving in. You're releasing a burden. You're awakening to all of this. And this is helping you to stabilize your emotions. Um, and I feel like that's kind of happening really quickly, almost like too quickly for you to be able to like keep up. And that might cause a little bit of, of anxiety for you. But whatever it is, it's helping to move you towards your authentic self and to discover your authentic self as well as it's moving you towards your towards your truth here. All right, so however that makes sense for whatever that you're um, dealing with with this, with this person. So let's see for them, let's clarify the magician. The 
six of wands. Okay, so this person is really wants victory. This person really wants to su succeed. All right, when it comes to this connection. They feel th there's a lot of sadness here. This could even be a longing even for the past. Um, something that they're holding on to. But yeah, it's like they're holding on to something though from the past, which could be related to you and might not be related to you. Um, I mostly feel like it is related to you. Let me clarify. Okay, the Seven of Wands and <clears throat> the Page of Wands. Yeah, I get the sense that th there's something here that they've been resisting. Like, they really... It's like the sense of really wanting to manifest, really wanting to take control, really wanting to succeed, really wanting to fix whatever needs to be fixed here. They want to accomplish something here that, that needs to be accomplished in relation to you. Or maybe not, maybe for some of you it might not even be in relation to you. It might be something else, but that will ultimately help to move towards you and to manifest you. Um, but it's like there, there's this resistance. They hit a wall when it comes to actually putting that into action. And that's because of this... Let me get one more. It's because of this, um, this, this energy that they're holding on to from the past. It could be something from the past with you. I'm still not getting that to the chariot. All right, here we go. The chariot, the queen of wands. And also got the Five of Swords. All right, so there could have been some kind of a deceit in the past. It may have even been something that they did. Um, this deceit may have been something that they did. It may have been something that you did and that made them feel deceived, okay? It could go either way. But there's definitely a lot of um, sorrow and grief for some of them. Guilt as well attached to that and I feel like whatever that was this is something that they are moving in the direction of gaining more confidence of gaining more of that drive to overcome it because that that desire is there. All right, that it's like they have the willpower, but I almost feel like they're just not using it because they're just stuck to something in the past. So it's just a matter of them overcoming that. Also want to mention that for some of you, you could be dealing with a fire sign because we do have a, a lot of wands here. Um, cancer as well. Could be another air sign. Could be any sign. Um, I'm just calling out the ones that I feel speak to me the most. And it, for me, right now, it's just fire signs um, and cancer, possibly. All right. So I just have the nine of wands also pop out. Let me get one more for the king of swords. Because again, I feel like that determination is there. And the seven of cups. Yeah, so it's really just a matter of them overcoming this thing from the past, whatever that is, whatever that deceit was. It could have even been that they were deceiving their own selves and that might be difficult for them to face. Um, the determination is definitely there. Even with this Nine of Wands for them, I'm getting that they really want to push through this, okay? They really want to reach that finish line. They really want to succeed. And it's, it's really just a matter of starting, all right? And I feel like that's what is going on here with the Seven of Cups. It's like, all right, their issue is, how do I begin? Do I, what is the first step? That is their issue. Do I take this step, this one, this one, this one? What is that? What is the first step that needs to be taken? 
I feel like once they take that first step, it's all going to kind of like unfold from there and smooth out. But let's see, because we do still have this devil here. I feel like I feel like it's just really it's it's not completely releasing whatever this is. All right, from the past, whatever that situation is. Um, let's see. Let's see the Ace of Pentacles. Five of Wands. So it's like this new path is opening up, right? That's going to be more practical. Like there is a way of starting this from the beginning in a more practical way. But there's also some conflict um, attached to that. Let me get one more. And I really, I feel like it's that devil. Death and the sun. See, it's like there's so much potential here for this happiness. There's so much potential here for this happiness, but, and it can happen. It really can because I do see intuition um, coming in. There has to be an end to this conflict, which I feel is this devil. So let me clarify the devil. Um, it could be that, you know, this person is still just... Um, Again, I feel like they are moving in that in that direction. It's just really getting unstuck from wanting to succeed and actually taking that first step. Let's see the devil. The page of pentacles. See, there it is. It's taking that first step. It's, it's, I'm, I'm telling you, it's like once this person starts, all right, the Nine of Swords and the Hierophant. It's about making that first step. And one of the reasons why they're holding back from that first step is because, again, they're feeling a lot of, um, they're feeling a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of overthinking about it, a lot of overanalyzing the situation here. Almost like, uh, I feel like what the resistance is, there's a resistance to um, releasing the way that they, that they think about, releasing the way that they're thinking about what should happen, what is right, what is wrong, you know, conformity, or um, just old belief systems. That in some way is related to this, and that is what is um, causing them to be, to be so anxious or so stressed. But, yeah, I mean, keep in mind that this is for the first, half of March, this is the potential um, future, which could be, you know, the timeline could be different for each of you. But um, let, let me see the high, the high priestess. Yeah, we have the pool. Get one more. Whew, there's that magician again. All right, the Fool, the Magician, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, yeah, so here's the thing, all right? So coming up in the somewhat near future, okay, or whatever this is for you, um, there's still a bit of a struggle here, all right? That door is opening. There is that potential. I feel like that is being um, seen and experienced by this person at least, all right? Because they have that willpower. They have that drive. They're still holding on to something um, that needs to be released. They need to resolve that conflict um, within themselves, or it needs to be released in 3D in order for them to not be so conflicted, okay, within themselves. Because there is this potential for, for happiness here. They know what it is that will bring them happiness. All right, so it's a little shaky in the beginning. It's related also to them... Um, releasing some of their old belief systems, all right? So this could be an awakening for them as well. But then here we have the Magician, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Fool. So this is things really taking a shift. I feel like once this 
action is taken, that first step, that first leap, all right, with the fool, it's going to be based on their intuition and it can only lead to them actually manifesting this Ten of Pentacles, all right? Now, and if that's not them, like, um, I don't know, maybe you're trying to move away from the situation, this could even be you, okay? So take it as it, as it resonates, okay? But I mostly feel like it's your person. And again, I'm getting fire sign very, um, very strongly. We do also have um, Leo here. We have Taurus, but of course, could be any sign. All right, I just see them moving and manifesting a a strong commitment, reaching that end, that potential. All right, Libra. If this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up. And let's see your final message. All right, we have solitude. In silence, peace prevails. Yeah, which we also have the hermit um, as one of your very first cards here. So I feel like, yeah, you know, if you are feeling um, alone at this point in time, like maybe there's some distance between the two of you, use that to your advantage. All right, use the silence to find your, your peace. And I feel like, like I said, that that's what you're moving towards, that stability, that balance. All right, Libra, thank you so much for watching. Much love.